It's time for the timpani part that you created in the last part of this lesson to find its rightful home in the film score that we're going to work on. Begin by browsing to the Lesson 5 folder in your Core Resources folder and then opening the 01.sib file. A sticky note or comment in bar 1 in the timpani part reminds you that it's missing. Go back to your timpani part and select the whole part by triple clicking it. Copy it and then return to the Agent 0 score and paste it into bar 1. You can play the score back now to hear it with the timpani part, if you so wish. As you go through this lesson, you're going to create versions of your score. Quite what versions are, you'll discover later on, but now it's time to make your first. Click on the Review tab and find the New Version button in the Versions group. In the Comment field, type a comment that reminds you that you just added the timpani part and then click OK. Your film score isn't much use without a uh, film. As you might have guessed from the kind of music and the name of the score, you're going to be working on a James Bond type movie. To add the video, go to the Play tab and then click Add Video as shown. Locate the Agent Zero Segment Small file, either the QuickTime Movie or the AVI file, depending on what kinds of video your computer supports. The video will open in its own panel inside Sibelius. If you play the score from the beginning, you should find that it matches the action on the video quite well. As it plays back, drag the volume slider in the video panel up or down until you're happy with the balance between the video and the score playback. The music and the video are well synchronised. If you use the left and right square bracket keys to rewind and fast forward the music, the video will be scrubbed so that the video matches the position of the green playback line on the score. Other useful shortcuts when working with film include shift and right and left square brackets, which scrub one frame or one tenth of a second depending on how you have your preferences set up, and the Y key, which moves the playback line to your current selection. This is very useful if you're working on some music and wonder exactly what's going on in the video at that very point. If you've ever worked on a film score, you'll know that specific points in the action are cued to specific points in the score with hit points, sometimes also known as markers or cues. You can see some hit points already present in this score if you look above the top staff throughout. The important thing to remember about hit points is that they are linked to specific points in the video, not to specific points in the score. This is useful because it allows you to compose to those moments. You can see this simply if you change the tempo at the start of the score. Sibelius will recalculate the position of the hit points under the new tempo immediately. Because hit point boxes are drawn by Sibelius automatically, they can't be dragged, although you can edit the information that goes inside them, which you'll learn to do in a moment. First though, let's add some more hit points. Watch the section from bar 30 to 35 very closely. Chords in the brass and percussion punctuate blows in the battle between Agent Zero and his enemies. These are marked with hit points with names like Throw Two or Stamp. Now, return to bar 17 where the fight starts. In this section, there are similar blows. Two or three punches and a crunch from behind. In order to score these moments with similar chords, you will first need to create hit points at exactly those moments of impact. 
To do this, use the shift and left and right square bracket shortcuts that you've just learned to scrub over the video and find those moments of impact. When you find each one, click the Create Hit Point button on the video panel. By default, your hit points have been unimaginatively labelled Hit 01, Hit 02 and so on. To rename them, go to the Play tab in the ribbon and click on the lower half of the Hit Point button and choose Edit Hit Points. In the resulting dialog box, you can double-click each name to edit it. Click OK when you've finished and you will see the names of the hit points have changed on the score. You can use these hit points to visually add notes at these moments of action, but there's a more accurate way to do it. Go to the Note Input tab on the ribbon, and under Plugins, choose Add Hit Point Staff. Sibelius will add a special staff to the top of the score that shows the rhythmic position of each hit point, including the ones you created. Now it's time for you to do some free composition. Use the hit points that you've added to add percussion blasts, perhaps with low brass or other instruments too. Mark the chords with a dynamic of F so that they stand out and, when you're finished, watch the film and hear your music line up with the action. When you're done, you can remove the hit point staff in the instruments dialog box. Remember, just press I for instruments. And you should also create another version to remind yourself what you added this time.